Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. My client, Matt Ongard, is... Really? Okay, Choose so, Marty. <laughs> so, number one, we had 30 minutes of nothing. If we had done the other one, it would have just jumped to this. I think if we did the other one, Edgeworth would have forced him to continue testifying okay. anyways. Okay, okay. So here... So, choose. Wow! And no safe state. No! You're so cruel! <laughs> Come on. Really? Are you serious? I just... Oh, alright, fine. Thank you! I'll make a safe state, but you're still gonna decide. <laughs> Either way, this is like the worst taste in your mouth type of deal. Basically, yeah. If we get Maya back, she's gonna be like, I can't believe you let this murderer go. This is the worst thing ever. She's gonna be really sad. She may not even be alive, to be honest. Like That's true, because the killer said that he may stay his hand. Right, he may stay his hand, and she's already starving to death. So, like, we'll get her back, she'll be like, uh, and, like, we'll feed her, and then she'll just be like, what? Why did you do this? This is stupid. Pearl is also gonna, like, Pearl would be, I did not even thought about Pearl! No! Um... Yeah, don't ever let me have this profession. Um, <laughs> yeah. That and then for this, it's like... <sighs> but otherwise, we'll have a completely innocent bystander. Just, like, get this. To be fair, she's not she's completely, not completely innocent. innocent. She did tamper with the crime scene. But accidentally. No, she, no, she, she purposefully, purposefully tried did. to frame him. But she did he also is a terrible but, like, person. You said we're going to end with the, the canon, ending. canon ending anyway. Yes. So, my choice doesn't really matter here, but... You might. You might. Okay. This idiot. He's still smiling at me, by the way. Yep. He's like, hey, 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 what you gonna do about it? <laughs> Swirling his brandy. Aww, I don't want to do this. Just pick. Come on. <laughs> I'll say not guilty. I guess. Like, I, that's exactly what everybody wants, but come on. Why did they have to do this anyway? Local endings is stupid. No, I'm not. I don't think so. I don't like it. We're waiting for your answer, Mr. Wright. You've been standing here for like five minutes. <laughs> Matt Ongard, your client deserves an answer. Maya, I'm sorry. Matt Ongard is... Objection! <laughs> yeah! Franciscan von Karma! Hi! What, what are you doing here? Ow! You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Ray? This is exactly what you, why you should never take your eyes off of that scruffy fool. On my first playthrough, I did not get that, and this came out of nowhere. It was amazing. <laughs> Did you bring them? The final pieces? Do you have them? You should know better than to ask that, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. A Von Karma is perfect in every way. The evidence here is in perfect condition. Don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine. And his injuries are minor. All of the items are inside this. What a filthy old, old coat this is. Good, I think we actually picked the right one. <laughs> That choice did not matter, by the way. It didn't? Nope. <laughs> she would've just burst in anyway? Yeah. Wow! Thank God, okay. That's gumshoes. I can spot his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for its ugliness, but there was nothing else to wrap the items in. I'm so happy she's come this way, too. I fought long and hard this whole trial. All for what's inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Who's just wrong? Your Honor, inside that filthy coat are the defense's final pieces of evidence. Your final evidence? Matt Ungard's like, what the heck, dude? <laughs> He's got the weirdest boots on, by the way. This trial is already over. All that remains is for me to hand out no! my verdict. How dare you judge? I do not believe that any evidence presented now... What? ...would change the outcome of this trial. What? Wh what? Come on, Von Karma just burst in here! Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence down to the last. 
I request that Miss Von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Yeah, Judge! Hmm. I suppose you are right, Mr. Edgeworth. I grant permission to do so. However, this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted by this court. Fine! We get something! Now, Miss Von Karma, if you please. These pieces of evidence are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Hmm, he must have been in quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there will be something that will turn this whole situation around. Like a miracle. I'm sure of it. That's all we can hope for. The first item is a pistol. Does the killer's pistol have anything to do with this case? Does that pistol have any relation to this case? We have yet to perform a ballistics test, so I can't say anything for certain. However, I believe it has something to do with this case, at least to me. That's the pistol that he used to shoot you, isn't it? That's what I believe, yes. Oh. That's what I thought. I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. At least she got it removed. <laughs> I'm sure it will be an excellent sample for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Franziska. It's probably not going to help us very much. Pistol added to the court She's record. just gonna be like, I got everything from when I got her? The second piece of evidence is this videotape. I bet the killer took that from On Guard Mansion. <laughs> Have you checked the contents of that tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. Yeah, at least you oh, got yeah. here. But I would speculate that this tape is very important. Why would you say that? Because he came back to his hideout for it. D the killer went back for it? That's right. It looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of his off of the officers at the site. Hmm. But somehow it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly the killer is no ordinary man. Videotape added to the court record. I'm so happy, Francisca, you're back. The last piece of evidence is this Bell's Boys uniform. Did he murder the other Bell Boys? <laughs> is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? I really want to know! Was that used during the crime? I'm almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it. The killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. There's one thing I found interesting about this uniform. And what is that? There's a button missing on this uniform. <laughs> a button? It's a very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it, it would provide us with an interesting clue. Hmm. Bellboy's uniform added to the court record. That is all I have to present, Your Honor. Hmm. It's just as I thought. What? And what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure, were we under normal circumstances, these items from Shelly to Killer's hideout would be very important clues. However, our question is not who did the killing. It is, who is the client? Yes, that is correct. And these free items do not tell us anything about that. Come on, yes they do! Thank you for your hard work, Miss Von Karma. You may step down now. Wait, Your Honor! Please allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled. This court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Wonderful! Absolutely splendid! This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? <laughs> is this the end? Phoenix. I knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. But you have to make that miracle happen. You've come this far. You can't give up now. But, but, no matter how you think about it, it's, it's... Try, for my sake. Just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of this situation for us. Great. T two? The first... Make on guard wish from the bottom of his, of his soul for a guilty verdict. Huh? What? The killer will always place his client's wishes first. If on guard himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let... Him he will let his hostage go. The, that may be true, but that's asking me to do the impossible! The second way? Force the killer to end his contract with the on guard. If the killer were to no longer think of on guard as his client, 
then he would let Maya go. Mia, that's even more impossible! He's a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else! I know both of these seem like an impossible feat at first, but if you could make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The pieces he was just shown, he's not accepting them. Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what has always worked for us? The other side? Wait, does she mean Twilight Town from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> does she mean that song from The Greatest Showman? You mean to turn things around? Phoenix, the judge says he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case, then who does need it? The person who needs the evidence? The defense, prosecution, and the judge. We've seen these- we've seen all the pieces of evidence. And that is how we've come to know the truth. But there are people who have not seen them all. And those people do not know the truth. That truth, it may be what will bring about the miracle in the end. There are no objections this time, correct? Now then, I will pronounce my verdict. Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love we, I wish he had the biggest stink face ever with his brandy and like crushing- Just the, like- Crushing the glass <laughs> in his hands. <laughs> I have already told you, Mr. Wright. This court does not need any more evidence. I'm not saying it is us that needs the evidence, Your Honor. Then, you want to show the evidence to that person? Yes, Your Honor. Ooh, we'll pull, uh, case two from the first game and, like, just start reading a list of people and it'll be like, Aah! like that whole thing. <laughs> I don't think Red it's white. quite that. No, but it'll be kind of like that where we'll make him confess his own guilt. You think that's what's gonna do? I bet you. Please, Your Honor, how are we gonna do that? Uh, Mr. Wright, for you to ask with such passion, I will grant you one chance. Thanks! Well, one chance. Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person. That's impossible to turn this situation around in one try. One try. That is all I will permit. Hey, at least we got that. I have to try to remember everything that has happened up to this point. Here's a big case Think, here. Venus. Think, Venus. Venus. <laughs> Think, Venus. Phoenix. Think. There must be a way to save Maya while taking On Guard down at the same time. Phoebus. Phoebus. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, let's not waste any more time. Who would you like to show evidence to? Alright. Profiles! I didn't say that! <laughs> <laughs> let's show it to the attorney's badge! Here right. know! So you think you want to show it to Ongar- something to Ongar to make him be like, You're right, I am guilty! <laughs> it's gonna be... I'd like to channel I'm gonna, Sebastian! I'm gonna- Oh, that would be- Oh, That would be so cool. But, um... Let's let's list of people that we know it won't be. It's not gonna be old bag. Right. It's not gonna be Lada. Go back to the first page. <laughs> it's not gonna be Franziska, Gumshoe, Pearl, or Maya. Bring Maya to the witness stand and we'll present to her. I'm sorry, no, she's so <laughs> My the only way you could bring Maya is if you're head to kill her, can you bring Maya here? We have no. to show her something. No, I would be like, please kill Maya and then we can <laughs> summon her. Oh, that would no. not work. Um we can't we can't show Juan Corinna unless if we channeled him from the dead. <laughs> Alright, so instead of thinking at one piece at a time who we're showing, think, what can we show somebody to either make On Guard wish he was guilty or to break to kill his contract? It would probably- okay, if we were to make him think he's guilty, it would be to show it to Celeste, channeling her. If it was to make Mr. What's-His-Face break contract, it would be something that showed that Matt on guard slipped up. And didn't follow and the didn't rules? And didn't follow the rules. Okay, let's go back to the evidence and look through it. So it's probably going to be one of these three pieces of evidence. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at them. Alright, so you've got the pistol. It's not gonna be that. You got the videotape. We don't know what's on it. Can but... You, can you guess what's on it? I'm gonna guess it's one of a few things. It's either going to be a video of the entire room from the bear's eye because that tape was removed. That makes sense. I think it could be that. I think it could also be um, a video from the past with impacts. 
from what we know, we the be, the bear the video one. is gonna be the one because it literally was recording, sending it to his VA VCR and recording it on right. the tape, and then the killer took it out with. Her. Right. So that could be totally it. And, and the then, bellboy uniform. The thing that's making me suspicious here is one of the buttons is missing, and I want to look at our other button. The other button has been confirmed to be the Janet Ninja button. It's not the same one. Okay. But there's a button ripped off, which makes me kind of suspicious. That doesn't seem to have anything to do with all this. I don't think it this. does either. I think it's the videotape is what we would need to show. Okay. But to who? So that has the video of the murder. Video of the murder. And it was taken in secret. Probably would show it to me. Either Matt, Adrian, or the killer. I mean, we can't really Which one show would it. make the most sense, We can't though. show it to the killer. He's not here. If we were to show it to we Matt... Could, we could hook him up to the transceiver again and tell him about it, though. Right. If we showed it to Matt, I think Matt would feel very guilty about the whole thing. No, he wouldn't. He has no shame. That's true. If we showed it to Adrian, though, it wouldn't... And here's the thing. We could do that, and that would be like, Matt recorded this. Well, he's definitely the killer, but then Maya still dies. We're basically trying to find a situation that will save Maya and make Andre guilty. Using one of the two methods Mia suggested. This is very hard. I think this is hard. Interesting. Than I thought I got this right away. I well, I don't know. Part of it is my brain hurts right now. Granted, I'm not sure if I had the right reason in mind when I'm like, but I'm like, oh, present this evidence to this person, and it worked out. But okay. maybe not necessarily maybe for the not reason the way I that you thought. thought it was. I'm gonna look at the evidence again. I will submit the evidence. Um. I wonder if we should show the suicide note to Ongard. You want to try that? It can we save state? Did you already? I save already state? have save state. Then let's try it. You want to show? Okay, show it to Ongard. I see. And now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. You want to show him the suicide note. Strange, you didn't pick one of the new pieces of evidence. I know, but I was just thinking. I wanted to try something at least. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Um. Um. I don't have anything to say to this. Hmm. I just wanted to get something wrong. How about well. you, Miss Von Karma? Well, I was just shot, so... I'm afraid I cannot allow the defense to continue. What?! No one understands what you're talking about anymore. Sorry, w neither do I. Wait, please, one more chance! That is enough, Mr. Wright. I will now state my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Matt Ongard... Can you please... Not guilty. Can you please, uh, go back? No. We're not going back?! I will eventually, but this oh. is a bad ending. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. That is all. This court is adjourned. Great. Bad ending. So, he's out. And just like that, the case came to an end. I ran away from the courtroom and wandered the streets alone. Why'd you do that?! What are you, a cowboy now?! I never saw Maya again. What?! The killer is a man of his word, so I'm sure he released her as promised. Well, why? I heard the verdict of Miss Andrews' trial a few days later. She was found guilty, of course. Yeah. The miracle never happened. <laughs> the miracle <laughs> never happened! Maybe it was never meant to. And just... <laughs> Because this a miracle is, is something that ending. doesn't exist. One typo screwed up the whole no, dramatic no, ending. This is a dumb ending because it's like, Maya's free, well, I don't care about her anymore. Like, th that's the problem that I have with so many of these types of endings. Or, like, where they have multiple endings, is where it's like, well, you could have just lived your life again, but you didn't, and you're he like... Just, he couldn't find Maya. That was probably the thing. Why? Because He's a man he of his word. Yeah, he released her, but he like, released her into the street somewhere. <laughs> well, she could find a phone. I don't know. Go back home. She'll probably... She knows your number. Well, yeah. The miracle never happened is now famous in the community. Oh. Like, it literally, the one bad typo just, right. like, ruined everything. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, let's try showing him the videotape. Who? Him. Who? Matt Ongard. I see. And now... That probably didn't work. Nope, it didn't well, work. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, I don't have anything to say to this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 
We're close, but... No bubblegum cigar. No bubblegum cigar. Do I have the right person, at least? Nope. That's the problem. Okay. Well... Something to make... Maybe I should try the other approach. Maybe I should try showing something to DeKiller. Not John Doe. DeKiller. Okay. Nope. Take that. I see. Now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you'd like to show him. Now, from here, the it's... tape, probably? Yeah, I got that one right away. Okay. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, um, I think there is some merit in showing this evidence to that witness. I thought about it, but I was like, I wanted to try doing the other way. You probably don't know why, though. I don't. Bailiff, please bring in the transceiver from earlier. All right. It looks like they got a hold of him. Cool. Well, at least we got the bad ending first. Maya, she's okay, right? Didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about a speedy end to this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence? Yes, one is all I need. I have here a videotape. It was found at your hideout. I heard you injured three officers in your attempt to get this back. That was most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that videotape. I thought so. Oh, and then On Guard will see it. See, that's what I was- No, you don't- you still don't have it yet. I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. Do you know the contents of this tape? I was sternly told by my client not to watch it. So I have absolutely no idea. No. Actually, you are on this tape. Me? There is a video camera hidden at the crime scene. Yeah. Your actions were being recorded. Wh what? Oh, and that's a breach of the trust? Yeah. Is that true, Mr. Wright? Who? Who was it who planted a camera? Well, the only person who could have placed a camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. That was Adrian Andrews. Be quiet and listen, your honor. Yes, sir. Your client specified a place and time for you, isn't that right? Y yes That was so they could film you. I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? To expose you. I would like to know why. Well... Why did Matt Ongard film the crime scene? The reason why he did that is my ticket out of this whole mess. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film the crime scene. They wanted to see Juan get his, wanted to blackmail on you, and didn't trust your skills. I think he wanted blackmail. I think... Ongard's all about blackmail. Yep. I want to see what the other choices are, though. Yeah. They wanted to witness the moment my Juan Corda died. Your client was going to sit on their fluffy soft sofa, <laughs> sip some coffee, and pretend they were at a film festival. <laughs> that... that's... I don't think that sounds like a very enjoyable hobby. Well, your honor? Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, um, I don't have anything to say about this. <laughs> hmm, how about you, Miss Von Karma? Well, I was just shot, so... <laughs> and, oh, that gives you another bad ending, okay. <laughs> your client didn't trust your skills. That's why, in order to monitor your work, they set up a video camera. Uh, is that right? I suppose that were I to fail at my job, my client would fall into utter ruin. I can't say I don't understand the want to see how I do my job. And as long as I could cleanly erase the tape, I suppose it can be overlooked. Oh, is that how you feel? Well, everyone, what do you think? <laughs> Pretty <laughs> good, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Your client once told me something very interesting. We were talking about you, and this is what they said. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. Least of all assassins. What? That scene. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. 
Yes, that's where the video comes in. With that, I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. I don't remember that. That, I know that, that was happened. I know that was in the jail, but... Your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. What do you have to say to that, Shelly DeKiller? Uh, mm. <laughs> it looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, by a natural. That is the kind of person they are. Your client is a person who only thinks and plots of how to use the people around them to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. That is the true nature of your client. I have one question for the witness. Yes? You told us one thing numerous times during your testimony. You said that you detest traitors most of all. Yes, that's right. But what if that traitor was your own client? What would you do then? That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. Perfect. And then, that client would become my next target. For the honor of the killer name, even if it takes an eternity, I would follow that person to the ends of the earth to exact my punishment. Have fun, on guard! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really wish death on anybody, but this is such a pain in the butt. I see. That's all I wanted to know. So the traitor becomes the killer's next target. Well, that would explain why it was like, well, if we blow his yeah. pool, we're dead. Ah, I get it. This is how we'll turn the case around. Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes? My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. <laughs> Thank you! What the? I'm not an item! Maya, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness! Yeah, when I first did that, I was presenting the videotape to the killer to rub it in his face that we had it. She's <laughs> 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 like, what you gonna do that? I have your videotape! He's like, ah! <laughs> Um, That's not what I was. This trial about. appears to have come to its conclusion. However, I actually I am sort of I don't quite know what just happened there with the client and the witness and Gah! Miss Von Karma, where did that? She is always has you in her sights. Now I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. Yay! Please tell me there's no other endings because I just want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Mr. On Guard? It looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You will finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. Especially with all the paparazzi, they'll be like, Mr. On Guard! Woo! And then he just pops up behind a camera and stabs him. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. <laughs> Help me? No. Now then, your honor, the verdict if you please. Uh, is this alright with you, Mr. Wright? Yes, it's fine! We have finally reached the end of a very long battle. Whether he's convicted or acquitted, there's no escape for him now. Go on, Phoenix. Plead whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief. Plead not guilty or plead guilty. Wait. So we have another ending? Another one? In a way. In a way? So basically it's either he gets killed by Mr. Assassin. Or, or he gets convicted either. for murder and arrested for life or possibly executed in the future. I mean, either way, he's dying. I don't really care. You don't? As long as my is fine and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Matt Ongard? Even though I am a lawyer, I cannot make your crime disappear. I think a guilty verdict is appropriate here. M me My wonderful self? G guilty Even if you got an acquittal the instant you set foot outside this detention center, your life would be in danger. No matter which way you look at it, you can't run away from your crime anymore. Oh. 
And then that leads into his breakdown either way. Oh, okay. This is actually more satisfying. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Matt Ongard. You're finally not guilty. Please make sure to savor every moment of what little time you have left. Wow! Your Honor, as always, the defense pleads not guilty. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Matt Ongard. P please wait. What's the matter? If if I get a not guilty, I'll I'll be killed. I I'm I'm no guilty 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 guilty. Well, there's a way to get all your scars on your face. I'd say that's the second most disturbing breakdown in the series. <laughs> the second most? That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, I actually, just if you're 12 years old, that's kind of that creepy. If you're 12, yeah. As always, it looks like we've uncovered the real truth. We? I don't remember you helping out much in this. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt on guard? I have left Miss Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of whip leather right about now. Very good. That was a close one, wasn't it, Witness? Yes. I plan to pay my debt to society for my own crime, Your Honor. This trial was the first time I had stood on the witness stand, and when I did, I really felt hopeless. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went after her. I guess she's trying to forgive him for what he did. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. Yeah, you were a jerk for You were that. a terrible person for that, Edgeworth. But, after that, when I was alone at the detention center, that's the first time I really saw myself and who I am. And today, when the two of you used your com combined strength to convict Matt, I, I felt like I had finally been saved. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen her smile. I'm really happy that you two were in charge of this case. I really don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. This is... this is the first time I've felt comfortable with myself, with who I am. Thank you so much, everyone! Yay! Woo! That was way too long, but... It okay. Lo it looks like we've resolved everything at last. As for myself, there are still a few things I'm confused about. But everyone seems to be in good spirits. And that's good enough for me. That is all. This court is adjourned. Oh, I wish it would have been a guilty. <laughs> <laughs> March 23rd, 5.14 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. You were great out there, Phoenix. What I did out there was right, wasn't it? This is the first time you've not gotten your client off. You've got them a guilty verdict this time. But you have to look past all of that to what's really important. You now realize that there's something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yes, I understand now. Come on, where's Maya? Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, whoops. Phoenix! 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 <laughs> Think back for a second. Think to the moments before Miss Von Karma arrived with the final pieces of evidence. Think about how the incredible decision you had to make. Yeah! That was very bad! Now then, Mr. Wright. Let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. Let's be done. That's my final statement. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. Oh. I have to listen to my heart. Should I side with justice, or should I save Maya's life? My client, Matt Ongard, is... Is he guilty, or is he not guilty? Those were your choices, then. And your answer? Your answer spoke to what being a lawyer really means to you. Right? Uh, Edgeworth! I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Woohoo! Really? P Pearls! You're telling me the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, she's quite safe. She's on her way here as we speak in a patrol car. Feed her! Wow, she punches deceptively hard for a kid. I... I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her! Mr. Nick will save her! Uh, um, thanks. Oh. What's wrong? Miss Von Karma. 
Um, about earlier. Um, thanks. That's it? Ow! Why are you still smiling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You, you lost! Your perfect win record has now been crushed. And yet, you're still happy? Yeah. You don't know anything about being friends with people. I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you! Don't worry. She may in time. After all, I was like that myself until a year ago. Edgeworth? For my own personal victories, and for guilty verdicts. Yeah. I used every dirty trick in the book, and so my win record remained spotless. But... A man appeared and stood fa fast against that selfish me. I fought him in my usual manner, and tasted my first defeat. I felt like I had lost everything because of that. And then... It was my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. And I was saved by that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. And you know all that stuff in Rise from the Ashes that they didn't mention because yeah. it hadn't come out yet. And I left that note, Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. <laughs> as well as you should have. A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should carve- carve? Car crawl into a hole and die! But that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What foolish nonsense! We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we did so, no matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. And stupidity. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. But what? You trusted your enemy? It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses. The truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is fight with the knowledge we hold in everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one. It's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch. I just realized Edgeworth's mom is alive. Where's she in all this? Ne never mentioned. His mom is wonder, literally never mentioned. Oh, I wonder if, like, he's working in the prosecutor's office, she comes over and she's like, You know, Edgeworth, you should really just, like, settle down and get a wife. And he's like, No, Mom! Like, playing checkers with all the, the chess. blue... Chess. with the blue pieces in one corner. <laughs> but we will have always eventually reach that one single truth. This I promise you. The truth? Yes. That's the reason why prosecutors and defense lawyers exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me, this man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory, who ran away into the night. Ah! Oh, is, is Mr. Edgeworth right, Mr. Nick? Mom, Maya, show up in your police car already. You really let me down. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was because I believed in the things you said to me. All those years ago. Yeah. And you? You betrayed your own words. That's why, one year ago, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. At least, that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool! Miss Von Karma! I don't want to hear the wretched whimpering of a disgraced foot loser. Avon Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy! You are no longer worthy of being Avon Karma! Uh, I mean, he's not Avon Karma. And neither am I! It's over. It's all over! Francisca threw something on the ground just now. This is an electromagnetic receiver. Isn't that the thing she used to track Detective Gumshoe? I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else. Ah! Oh, isn't that Miss Von Karma's whip? I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. 
I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. Oh, but I wanted her to prosecute some more. You should keep this, right? What, is a memento? Um, okay. Nick! M M M Maya! Oh my gosh, she looks so terrible. Please get that girl some burgers. And yet that's one of my favorite pictures. It is, it is like one of my favorite pictures. Oh Nick, I knew you would come through. You got on guard convicted like I knew you would. And on top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. But we sure pressed our luck in this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt you like a bad ghost through Pearly! Is it really that easy to do something like that? Th thanks a lot, Nick. Um, don't mention it. That's it? Maya. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Um... Well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. <laughs> All right! I think it's time we got out of this depressing place! Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick! Food! Grub! Chow! I'm starved! I'm so hungry even you look like a nice juicy burger around a bun to me, Nick! D you think I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib, at least! Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please! Uh, um, if you insist. Alright, so how about we hit up our usual burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick! Huh? You know it's ramen! <laughs> like it's the Japanese <laughs> This ramen. case messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of my gourmet food! So I've decided we have to make it up by having another feast! Uh, another feast? Come on, Nick! Food! We're back! Let's go to the hotel! March 23rd, 7.38pm, Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. I mean, they haven't cleaned up all the food yet. Yeah, it's it's cool. probably gross now. Hey, pal! Sorry to keep you guys waiting. What the heck? You look terrible! Gumshoe, are you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole, of all things. <laughs> a telephone pole? Then it wasn't a red light that got him? You did it again, city boy! Felt like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me! I ain't joking! Yeah! It was more exciting than the very last episode of The Steel Samurai! But thanks? Now looky here, Mr. Snooty Prosecutor! Don't you reckon the bullying Mr. Wright too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it! Tonight, even! Um, I'll keep that in mind. Well, you were done enough, because- Well, come on now! Everybody gather around! Y'all are gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer! Looks like a lot of bought herself a new camera. Somebody sneeze, please. Well, pal, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on! Tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal! Amen to that, pal! Amen! You know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day, Detective. Huh? Me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the free items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Ah, uh, well, you know, it's... <laughs> huh? Wait. That's odd. When I ran off with the fins from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four fins total, sir. What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item? Aw, come on, y'all, it's over! Well, who oh boy, I tell you, you really are something else! Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped. Never a dull moment with you, huh? <laughs> you think? Why does she look so happy about that? But being shut away for two whole days, weren't you scared? Yeah, I was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So, to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had a rough gal! Or sounds like you had a rough gal, so... Where's this picture of yours? Yeah! I wanna see it! I wanna see Mystic Maya's picture! Hmm... You know, I don't know where it went. Aww, that's 
too bad. Well, it's all right. It wasn't anything important anyway. Ah. It sure is nice to finally see them both smiling again. Oh boy. Hmm? What is it, Edgeworth? This Fane is picking something up. Ah! That's... That's Miss Von Karma's receiver! Ah! Uh, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir! I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me! That's odd. Even though you're standing right here, the tracking device seems to be in a different location. Oh! It's probably busted or something, sir. Well... It doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet! And you've eaten way too much, you one. She was starved! Leave her alone, Phoenix. A girl can eat whatever. I had fun tonight. Now if you'll excuse me... Wait. What? I just want to say... Thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. Hmm. If anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough here. I wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel. Give him the gigantic bear- Give him- I wonder if it's the attorney's badge. You know what? I bet you're right! Sidewalks! <laughs> give him the bellboy uniform. Hey, remember? You and, you and your friend could be twins. <laughs> no, it's not that. But... The whip? Oh, you could give him the whip. That could be cool. Um... I'm spying on you. You want- you want the card? With love, Celeste. I crossed it out and wrote Phoenix there instead. <laughs> but it still has her- Hey, you want Shelly the killer's car? Uh, thank hey, you. Hey, Matt Ongard spent a bunch of money on this store. <laughs> you want- you, you want some wine? Wine? <laughs> <laughs> I know you love Steel Samurai. This is an authentic guitar case from its rival show. Hey, Edgeworth, did you know about this gossip? <laughs> okay, it's one of the following. Edgeworth, I have okay. this expensive camera. <laughs> it's either the whip, the poster from... Nickel Samurai? Nickel Samurai. Or the bellboy uniform. Why the bellboy uniform? He can dress up with his bellboy dude. And it's not like he, they would. I'm, I'm kidding. But I think it's either the whip or the Nickel Samurai poster. What's this? Um, it's my way of saying thanks. I see. Well, it's the thought that counts. Aww. Hmm, I guess I'm not very good at this showing my appreciation thing. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Come on, man. It, it is the whip. Woo! What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Exactly the same. No, that has a big difference, actually. Okay. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mystic Maya! Hmm? Yeah, Pearly? I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? You and Mr. Nick, I mean... P Pearl! Would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me! Um, anyway, so who's paying for this lovely dinner party? As if you need to ask. Everyone say thank you to Nick! Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm kind of at the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. So I kind of already put your name on the bill. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I got me in a situation just like that myself. There's this camera shop in this hotel scene, and I just bought myself this good old beauty here. It better be anyhow for, uh, $3,000. Huh? 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 <laughs> Actually, I reckon you bought this for me because it's on your tab and all. Huh? 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 Wh wh huh? <laughs> Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick! Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Aw, you don't need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal! Time to let it all out! This is going to be the first time I hear the real you! Go on! It's been a while since I've heard you say it. I've been busy being hostage and all. Alright then. If you say so... <laughs> OBJECTION! <laughs> Is that how every game ends? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Shoot, Akakumi! Well, that was a great ending. As opposed to, uh... <laughs> the bad ending. The bad ending. Yep. I went off and been a loner. You really came through for me, Nick. I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really felt like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? I feel like I'm a pro! 
That's not something to brag about. <laughs> I mean, that is something though, like dinner party, like so what was I almost cool died. You were like, times. I almost died three times. I got kidnapped. I got once. kidnapped by an assassin. I'm so happy that you could save Mystic Maya, Mr. Nick. And I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of, I think this hotel is a popular place for honeymooners, so I sort of made reservations for the two of you, just in case. Pearl, no. Pearl, she's like 18. Shipping on deck, no. <laughs> Please stop. Th that is literally the definition of shipping right there. <laughs> That's overboard shipping. Yeah. Well, pal, it looks like I'm back on the force again. Mr. Edgeworth had a long talk with the chief, and he got me reinstated for my sake. I heard he said things like, letting that one go is bad for all of society. I knew it! Crashing headlong into everything is the only way to live, pal. I just realized I'm gonna have to do pain when he comes back. Or I can do it if you want. Either works. I will do my terrible pain. <laughs> okay. If, Maybe. I'm not sure if he actually makes terrible pain. That's, nah. That'd be fine. I, Maggie Bird, am retiring this uniform as of today, sir. I'm going to be a waitress from now on. And bring smiles and joy to the people who come by the restaurant, sir! I hope you'll stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. You know who she reminds me of? She reminds me of, um, Officer Meekins a little bit. More competent than that. More that, competent, but, but more, like, but they're just saying expressions lucky. like, yeah. ah, like that. Oh, great. <laughs> yes, are you here to visit a patient? <laughs> I'm Drip <Drift>, Hattie. <laughs> Recently, yes, that girl, you know, I haven't seen her around, yes. But I remember, if I ever laid so much as I eye on her, she would, it would go crack. It didn't matter if I got ripped, though. Yes, mo. Ah, oh, that weirdo. Oh, do I get to hear from people in jail? No. No. So Morgan Faye's not coming back. Morgan Faye's not coming back. Eeny miny's not coming. Eeny miny, but I love doing her voice. It's so fun. It's time to begin our quest of world circus domination, sweetie, and to let the world know we are serious. I plan to make a fabulous flight to Zimbabwe. Hey, Max, what do you think Zimbabwe's like? Do you think there are, like, ca castles made of cake and bunnies who can talk? I think if there are any talking bunnies, even they won't laugh at Moe's jokes. <laughs> That's rude. Moe was funny. Moe's great. Moe's amazing. We better hear from Moe, too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready! I'm ready! There's no way these jokes are gonna fall on deaf ears! I'm going to be more contemporary with my humor! Mo curls are our are, are represent! We've got a new act all worked out! Prepare for the Hallelujah Chorus! Say something, will ya? You're supposed to start this off! Get on with it! Meanwhile, Ben just doesn't talk. <laughs> And I wish Eeny Miney talked, because then I could just be like, prepare for world domination. What's this? Drat! It's just an ordinary electric razor recharging on its stand! I can't believe this! Really? How long do they plan on making me do this? Ah, <laughs> uh, but it's Edgy Pooh's idea, so that means that it must have a deep hidden meaning. Oh, she's still scouring but the hotel? But why do I get the feeling they wouldn't forget about me, would they? I was never like this in the old days! Everyone thought the world of me! They used to call me Queen Wendy and treat me like royalty and any man who hadn't heard this is gonna feel the real pain of my heel! Yes, they're gonna feel the burn and speed to burn! Plain of fire is very dangerous because uh, three of the warehouses I restored the scenery were burned and there was a huge stink in <laughs> Special thanks to these To people. everybody. Kamigos. Special thanks to you, Kari Suwabe. Who invited Omo Chow? I don't know. I appreciate everything you and Mr. Edgeworth did for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's right. I received a letter from Miss Von Karma. She said that after I get out, I should feel free to consult her about anything at all. That is so nice! I'm really grateful to have met everyone. That is actually great. Because I feel like she could be, like, if there's any anyone who is confident, it's <laughs> Von Karma. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think a lot like... of that is just, like, a bruise, okay. though. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. May we both be blessed homepage? with longevity. Wouldn't they find him be like, to kill his homepage? <laughs> and then he self-destructed his radio so you can't trace the signal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, show the killer, professional assassin, didn't get him convicted. No. <laughs> He's still out there. <laughs> That's okay. Ish. Oh, March 24th, 23rd, 9.42 p.m. International Departures, Gate 12. What, is Maya going to Paris now? 
Now what's happening? Where are you going, Franziska? Oh. How did you know I was here? With this. That's... I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example. <laughs> That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. This filthy, drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going in the trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the fins from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four fins total, sir. Four items? It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here? It doesn't matter anymore. This case is already over. It's gonna be like something huge that like plot twist. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up! You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be a Manfred von Karma's daughter. Franziska. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win no matter what. And failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But... But me, I'm no genius. I've always known that. Oh, right, because you're prosecutor at 18, and that's not a genius at all. This is where, yeah, you realize Franziska is a lot She's more sympathetic lo oh, than you thought. That's, I've always kind of believed that, though. That's always been me, at least. But I... I had to be one. I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this to hold on to. Right. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? Oh, that's why. Okay. Otherwise, this scene would have made no sense. I don't think you get this scene if you don't oh. do it, actually. I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always... You've always left me alone and walked on ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally, my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix Wright bow down in defeat, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been up until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics. Isn't that right? <laughs> Today, you chased after me, after I had left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But, I have no intention of stopping. If you say you are going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Franziska von Karma. Oh, my sweet dear. Oh, see, this is what I was really afraid of, to be honest, but I'm yeah. so happy at the same time. Yep. I, I, I am Franziska von Karma. Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you would better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth.
Well, she's going back to Germany. That's a shame, because I really want her to prosecute more. Phoenix Wright. One day. Someday. I'm sure we'll meet again in the battle. Until then... This last piece of evidence that never made it to you... I'll take good care of this fourth piece. So I can give it to you when we at last we meet again. Oh, that's a shame, because I kind of wanted to know what it was. It's probably just something insignificant. What the? That was the last piece. The picture Maya drew. Oh, That's kind of cute, actually. Yeah. That looks really good. And that's Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. I think I like that one more than the first game. Yeah. I think it had much higher highs. I don't think it had lower lows, though. Yeah. Yeah. The first case was better than the other one. Or the other first case. Yeah. The second case was great, but I know you didn't really like it as much. There are parts I, I really like and case. parts I really, really don't like. I really like, and liked I already... the third case yeah. as well. Third case? I don't know why people hate it so much. People just hated it. I liked it a lot. And then the fourth case is pretty epic. Fourth case, I was like... <gasps> oh, also, I should... I'm so <laughs> mad. I should but... tell you, I meant to say this earlier... Um, if you, if you got this brand new on the DS, the box spoils so many things. It, one, it, does? it spoils that Edgeworth comes back. Oh, well, two, yeah, it's Two, it spoils that. who Von Karma is and that she's a girl and that she's Von Karma. Also, free, there's a typo on the back and it calls Francisca Von Karma a defense attorney, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I thought, see, that's kind of hilarious because then it's like, oh, where's Phoenix Wright? You see, like, he has amnesia. What's gonna happen? Von Karma's like, I will defend you! Woo! It's like, be like, funny. be Phoenix Wright, a team up against the, like, ruthless defense attorney, Francis Von Karma. I'm like, that's not How it. do you team up against her? <laughs> team up with her, maybe. That's uh, really funny. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say for all of this Yeah, now. so those, I guess, you, that's your final thoughts on the game. You kind of like, you liked it more than the first one? I liked one? it more than the first one. I, yeah. Most people don't like this the more main than the first thing, one. The main thing for the first game is it was like, the first trial was kind of, you know, like, it's your basic first trial. The second trial... What was the second trial? At that one I game? liked. That one I liked with the, the Gatewater Hotel. I the third know. the third trial with the Steel Samurai, I just... I mean, the whole thing with um little kid... Cody. Cody seeing everything, I was just like, oh, this doesn't really like end well for me. And then the fourth case, I was like, what the heck happened? Fourth case might have been your favorite. Fourth just... case was one of my favorites. And then the fifth, I was just like... It's too long. Ah, it's too long. That's part of why I was like, I like this way more because the only case i really didn't like at parts was this one was the last was case. the last case just because it was so i much... feel like first half of the case is not very good second half is amazing yeah for me it was like the first half of the case i'm like okay we're figuring things out bit by bit it was just one of those where it was like you're getting trailed along and all of a sudden it's like whoa let's kick it off and go 70 miles an hour you're like um okay well now do you kind of see why your friend was like oh that's my favorite case just because of how different it is yeah, yeah, my friend had told me that it was really cool. He uh, didn't tell me anything else about the series, though, so I Yeah, I remember when he was saying, he's like, oh, I love that, it's so dumb. I'm like, no, don't see anything, don't see anything. <laughs> anyway, which point, which point, which point? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, okay, okay, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, that's it for Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. I think that's a big improvement over the first game. Maybe yeah. there's some parts of the soundtrack of the first game that I like a lot more than oh, this. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. You, you want to, let's play the third game in the series? I think I would. Not right away. Let's no. take a break. No. Let's take quite a bit of break. Third game is why we were not to be the best game in the series. Cool. Like Maya's alive too, so it'll be fun. I'm, I'm, I don't want to spoil anything, but it it it's a big improvement over the the last two games, and it actually like it creates a formula that like every game after that follows, kind of. Okay. Great soundtrack, great characters, and it's not personally my favorite game. It's second favorite, but it does have my favorite case in it. Okay. That's cool. So look forward to that. That'll be super, super epic. Thank you all so much for following this whole series because obviously you followed the whole series. This is like, no, you can't always, skip one video. There's that idiot that's like, I'm going to watch the very last video of oh. the playlist. I mean, I guess there's a possibility people have already played this video. I just want to see all their reactions to all the different plot twists. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hope all of my reactions were good. They were pretty great. And Some your voices were, were top as well. So hopefully, look yeah. forward to our out, next though. Let's Play. I It's probably not going to be this. I, or it's probably not going to be the next game. Well, we're probably, probably going to have another not. co-op probably game before that. And plot, game. Lots of single you, Let's you Plays. Need some single let's plays anyhow when we eventually let's play phoenix right free 
Look forward to that, because I'm going to be doing the Winston Payne voice again. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should. I, 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 I kind of I, have I kind to. of suck at it. <laughs> oh, maybe the first case had a lot of beanies. It does, as a matter of fact. Yay! It might be back to me, like, voicing the, like, the lawyer and, <laughs> and, and the, the judge, judge and Winston and Payne. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless you on this wonderful day.